Hi, I'm Kirby Turner. I'm the author of the book, Learning iPad Programming, a hands-on guide to building apps for the iPad. In this episode, I'm going to talk about using gesture recognizers. With the release of UI gesture recognizers, all of that code now can be isolated into a single class. You create an instance of the class, you add it to your view, and now your view is able to detect that gesture. You can write your own custom gesture, but Apple has also provided a number of uh, predefined touch gestures that you can take advantage of within your app. There is a tap gesture, a pinch gesture, a rotation gesture, a swipe gesture, and even a pan gesture. So if you want to grab, say, a photo and move it around your screen, you can. So for example, let's say that you wanted to detect a double tap within your view. What you would do is you would create a UI tap gesture recognizer. Prior to adding it to the view, you would set the number of required taps to two because you are wanting to detect a double tap, which is two taps. Uh, and then you add it to your view and you're done. Now when you run your application, if the user double taps that view, the recognizer will detect that gesture and report back to your application. That's my tip for the day and I hope you enjoyed it.